Hey, good morning, folks. Hello, Radio Freitas, the marketing mom. Today, what I want to share with you are things I got this question, things that you, four things that you should do when you're starting out as an entrepreneur and it comes from personal experience and a bit of you know what i've learned from from different folks so getting started right away the first thing i want to tell you as an entrepreneur most people who decide that they want to be an entrepreneur they they're working a job right and there's something about that job that's pushing them to be like I really don't want to be here, right? Whether it's the hours, whether it's the lack of time that you have with your family, whatever it is, okay? There's something that's pushing you. Here's my first suggestion to you when you are starting out as an entrepreneur. Do not quit your job yet, all right? You are going to feel the tipping point, and this is something that I went through. I felt exactly the tipping point when I needed to leave. Likewise, my husband, all right? We were both working our businesses part-time while we were at our jobs. And you got to that tipping point where you were just like, okay, it's about that time. But don't quit your job yet, all right? So if you start off and you're all gung-ho and you have your energy and everything and you're like, I'm going to quit my job tomorrow, please don't do it because the reality is you do have bills to pay and if you have little children like us you have mouths to feed etc etc all right there's a certain level of the burning ship concepts burning your ships concepts that you have to embrace right but you have to be mentally prepared to make that sacrifice at some point in time just don't do it as soon as you decide you're going to start your business okay one one don't quit your job yet Number two, create content. All right, this is something that a lot of people, especially for people in the online world, right now a lot of people are they they are jumping into businesses that it's all online, everything is online. And recently I was watching, I was watching my daughter watching things on YouTube, and it occurred to me that she had more interest in all of these type of videos that people make about toys so she likes this toy set that's like cakes and they sing it along to one of the nursery rhyme songs one two three four five so when she's asking me i want to sing one two three four five i don't know what she means until she tells me the cakes but she's interested in these toys that's an online opportunity right and that's content that somebody went out there and created recently one of my clients said where do i start i said start writing a blog post a day Start writing a blog post a day. Start cutting a video a day. Start sending out an email a day. Start doing social media once a day. All right? When you are in the online world, content is king. Google would love you, adore you, send traffic to your page if you would only create content. And this is something that I don't know how else to share it when i first started i spent almost a year creating content a year not making any money just creating content and it's a lot of work that you put in for zero dollars but that content is created and it's there for a lifetime or until the internet shuts down whichever one comes fixed right so number two create content number one don't quit your job Number three, give up something. You have to give up something. When you are starting off as an entrepreneur and you are working, okay, this is very important. Whether you are working or if you are a mom like me, the full time, you have to give up something. You have to give up sleep. You have to give up your favorite TV show. You have to give up um, going out every Friday night. You must give something up. And if you don't, then what you're doing is setting up yourself for failure. All right. There are things in your life that you would have done before with a job. You come home, you sit down, you watch TV for maybe two hours, didn't even realize it. All right. In two hours, you could write two blog posts. Right. If you're a beginner, if you are advanced, you could write four blog posts in two hours. And remember what I just said, when you're now starting, what you need to be focusing on is creating content. Content takes time. All right. So when I'm talking about giving up something, I'm talking about giving up something that sucks time out of your day. All right. 
not a job but that television show and I'm going to give you the perfect example NCIS and Big Bang Theory are my two favorite TV shows two favorite TV shows for the first year I said I am giving up watching NCIS and Big Bang Theory and I wasn't talking about the one hour and half an hour new episode slot you know there are some channels that they have NCIS marathons on a Sunday for example or on a Saturday the Tony Dinoso marathon I used to schedule time to watch NCIS for the first year of my business I said I am NOT watching NCIS and yes I fell back I fell behind I didn't know what was going on didn't even know Ziva left the show this type of stuff and I was just like oh my goodness but the point of the matter is I used that time for my business I gave it up I sacrificed it and sometimes something as small as an hour a day is going to compound and give you great results all right so as an entrepreneur starting out don't quit your job create your content and the only way you can create your content is by giving up something that sucks the time out of you and the fourth thing I want to share with you is to be coachable most times when people are starting their business they're at a stage where like myself you are already well educated you have three degrees you have a world of experience in whatever field it is that you went into but as an entrepreneur you have no clue what to do and if you go in with the attitude of I know it all even if you know you don't then you're not gonna get anywhere you're not gonna get anywhere quickly I have seen a lot of people be able to technically do a lot of things they're able to build capture pages build sales pages they're able to create great content and everything and then somehow they're still not becoming successful it's because they're approaching everything with the attitude of I know how to do that and nobody else could teach me you got to as one of my mentors shared with us in our coaching is you got to empty your cup empty your cup so that you could have it filled you have to really think that I know nothing and even if you do know something assume you know nothing until you have been coached on it when I started again I was known as Miss Questions Queen they called me Q squared questions Queen because I just kept asking questions and questions and questions and regardless of whether I thought I knew the answer or not yes maybe 50% of the time the answer that I had for the question was correct but I still asked the question I became coachable because I realized that where I was in my life I don't know anything about business and I don't know anything about entrepreneurship all right and I decided I'm gonna get a coach I'm gonna get a coach and I have had since that decision I've had many coaches I've had many different types of coaches business coaches mentorship type coaches trainers and I've invested I've invested a lot in those people right and it's got me to where I am today but I had to make that decision back then be coachable because if you're not going to be coachable you're not going to allow yourself to grow and to succeed all right I am an engineer what does an engineer know about business okay that is basically where I came from and I said to myself if I were opening an engineering business what I would do is I would go out and hire somebody who knows about business tell them set up my business and what would I be doing the engineering work okay so likewise the same thing I had to go out there and learn about business learn about this business that I'm in and then be able to execute it so I had two things that I had to do basically I was learning new skill sets and also learning about business all right I needed lots of coaching and I knew it admitted it and I said I'm getting in there early o'clock getting my coaching in early o'clock so be coachable so you starting out as an entrepreneur today there are a few things sharing personally a lot of these things from my own experience don't quit your job yet 
get out there and just start creating content about your business about your products and services about testimonials whatever it is just create content all right that people are going to want third give up something give up something that's sucking your time today that's preventing you from working on your business and fourth be coachable be open to mentorship be open to tr to people training you because they've walked the path that you are now starting all right have a great day this has been hillary the marketing mom if you love this video please comment share this video as well and comment below i would love to hear your feedback and don't forget to subscribe to the channel have a great one bye for now